an epileptic soldier with a family history of mental illness, Bennett had enlisted to find a way up out of sherry cropping. Instead, on Christmas Eve 1954, he drunkenly raped a 12-year-old girl near his base in Austria. John Arthur Bennett was born on April 10, 1936. He was a United States Army soldier who remains the last person to be executed after a court martial by the United States Armed Forces. Bennett was the fourth of eight children born to a family of sharecroppers in Chatham, Virginia. His schooling finished in the fourth grade. Despite being epileptic, he managed to enlist in the U.S. Army when he was 18. Although he dropped out of the Ordnance Corps for academic deficiency, he became an ammunition handler and a truck driver with the U.S. Army's 11th Anti-Aircraft Artillery Battalion at Camp Roeder near Salzburg in Austria. In 1954, just days before Christmas, a heavily intoxicated Bennett left Camp Roeder to find a brothel. Witnesses reported seeing him wandering around, entering random civilian homes asking for a girl named Margaret or Margot. He even entered one house asking the local occupants if they had chickens. Later that evening, at Siesenheim, he met an 11-year-old girl returning from an errand for her parents. Although Bennett had repeatedly raped the girl before strangling her and dumping her body in a stream, the child survived. An American officer and his wife testified that she came to their home pleading for help. She was in a disheveled state, wet and dirty, with blood on her legs. When asked what happened, she responded, a man had choked me. Later. While the victim was being cleaned up, she stated that the man had taken off her underwear and stuck something in her. Bennett was arrested by MPs at the base movie theater a few hours later. Bennett was tried at a general court-martial at the Leoner Caserne, the former military barracks of the 59th Infantry Regiment of the Imperial Royal Landwehr in Salzburg on February 8, 1955. Bennett's defense was brief and ineffective. His lawyer never mentioned his mental history. Bennett declined to testify. So the jury said death, and Bennett was ordered to the military prison at Leavenworth. By coincidence, one of the military policemen who saw Bennett before he was brought to the United States was William Maddox, a master sergeant with a specialty learned at the end of World War II. He had helped carry out the executions of General Hideki Tojo and other Japanese war criminals. Maddox, too, was sent to a post in Kansas, where the Army soon put his specialty to use. Maddox kept a record of his work, in a spiral notebook filled with details about the soldiers on death row, weight, height and length of necks. In an old box he stored his tools handcuffs, ankle straps, tape, a collapsing board and plenty of rope. Repeatedly he was summoned to Fort Leavenworth and the old prison power plant where a wooden gallows had been built. The military court heard medical testimony from a doctor who examined the victim at the officer's home, and another who saw her later that day at the nearby hospital. Both agreed she had been sexually assaulted. A month later the court-martial found Bennett guilty of rape and attempted premeditated murder. He was sentenced to death. The death sentence was upheld by President Dwight D. Eisenhower on July 2, 1957. Evidence in Bennett's case revealed mental defects in the young man and his family, defects that today would probably spare his life. He also almost certainly suffered from epilepsy, which his defenders cited as further evidence of mental illness. Even Dr. Carl Menninger, 
the country's preeminent psychiatrist, twice sought to save the life of this undistinguished epileptic soldier. The court-martial was held in Austria. The trial lasted five days, with little defense. The jury deliberated just 25 minutes. After his sentence was stayed two times by lower courts, the United States District Court in Kansas overturned the rulings on appeal in 1960. On February 27, 1961, the newly appointed Secretary of the Army Elvis Jacob Starr Jr. ordered that the sentence should be carried out. Rain always frightened him, and on the night he was hanged in a military prison in Kansas, a rolling prairie thunderstorm was kicking up outside. That was four decades ago. John Bennett had just turned 26. He went to his death perhaps more terrified of the thunder and lightning than of the gaunt hangman waiting upon the gallows. Days before Bennett's scheduled execution, the victim parents wrote to President John F. Kennedy, asking for clemency for Bennett. Kennedy took no action on the appeals and let Eisenhower's death warrant stand. At the end, Bennett turned to President John F. Kennedy for mercy. But the new president was preoccupied. On Bennett's last day, Kennedy was embarrassed that the Russians had sent the first man into space, and he was giving the final go-ahead for the Bay of Pigs invasion. As the clock ticked down, the White House dispatched an army captain to find the girl and her family. Some in the administration had decided that if the family wanted mercy, Bennett should be spared. Telegrams came flashing into the White House. They were from the girl and her parents. They wanted him to live. Bennett was hanged at United States Disciplinary Barracks at Fort Leavenworth, Kansas on April 13, 1961. As of 2022, he remains the last person to be executed following the United States Armed Force Court Martial. Thank you for watching Death Row.